The Dayton Convention Center hosted more than 200 high school students for the 54th Annual Junior Science and Humanities Symposium. The students share a common interest in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, or STEM. Dayton is home of the Air Force Research Laboratory at Wright-Patterson Air Force Base, and this symposium offered a platform for students to present their research in a scholarship competition. Well, you have the interaction between scientists and engineers to talk about the science to help engage with the students on specific areas that they may be interested in, to help guide and direct the connections that can be made between fields. The direct communication with experts in the field is of great value to the students learning. So this event where we who are judging and other professional scientists actually come to present their research to the students, I think is incredibly valuable, especially the timing that they chose to have because it's the day before the students present. So part of this exercise maybe the students didn't know is not only to learn about all of this cool science on the cutting edge, but also maybe see a little bit of how scientists present their research, which is something that hopefully some of them will at least incorporate in their presentations tonight. So this is a competition intended to promote um, the science all over the United States and then in, also in Department of Defense schools and bring together a wide variety of students from a wide variety of backgrounds to present their research. I think symposiums like this are for getting younger kids inspired to pursue science and to pursue the things that they are passionate about because it, we need the innovation that comes from younger generations and the new ways of thinking and the new ideas in order to move forward in, and make progress on big environmental issues and issues all over the world. Judges spoke with competitors, reviewed their posters, and talked about the research that students were doing. JSHS allows young men and women a chance to showcase their work and get realistic feedback from experts in their field. The goal of symposiums like this is to increase interest in science and technology focused career paths so that today's youth will make up tomorrow's scientists, researchers, and engineers. Reporting from Dayton, Ohio, I'm Air Force Staff Sergeant DJ Ayers.